Welcome to our course of Robot Structural Analysis Professional 2016 Advanced Level for Analysis and Design of Steel Structures. In this third part of our series for the design of steel structures, we'll cover the highly requested subject of the analysis and design of steel structures for buildings of 20 floors and above. Steel structures that could be integrated by either hot rolled or cold rolled sections. And during this course, We'll work with a building such as this, and which was previously designed in Revit's structure, but that will be properly analyzed inside robot structural, or even redesigned, if need be. Now this building as you can see, presents a series of three underground parking levels, that besides being subjected to the integral loads of the building, including dead and live loads, will be affected by the lateral earth pressure. And moreover, of that of the structure surrounding the building. And another interesting aspect, we'll analyze the behavior of the slabs on these particular levels, under the effect of moving and live loads, such as those of heavy vehicles, and that could be on the order of 5 to 6 tons. So in that regard, we'll analyze the design of these slabs, and which are simultaneously composed by a series of steel decks. And so, we'll see as well as steps for designing those type of components. And that will be analyzed for all the proper load cases and combinations thus defining if they are correct in terms of both safety and economy. So, during this course we'll also take a look at the design for the supporting structure of those steel decks, reviewing those sections for both the dead and live load cases. And in overall, we'll examine all the structure for different load cases and combinations. For instance, here we can see the diagrams for the lateral earth pressure exerting over the retaining walls of the foundation. Moreover, here we have the configuration for the soil loads, and that will permit us to analyze the behavior of these retaining walls, and how those concurrently affect the rest of the structure, such as the columns found in the underground levels of the project. But even more interestingly, we'll analyze the crucial aspect of the connections and anchorages for the sections connected to the retaining walls. Since those same sections and subsequent connections will be subjected to several load cases, internal forces, and of course the moving and live loads occurring in the underground levels. Thus, we'll perform the verification of these connections, making ourselves certain that they are capable of bearing the design load cases and combinations. So we can then obtain the respective plans and calculation notes. Not only for these components, but also for the steel decks, whose design we'll also verify. But continuing with the anchorages and connections, We'll also analyze and design those of the foundation columns. And for this, we'll have to focus on two main aspects. The first, the design of the concrete footing elements, which should be capable of bearing all the exerting shear and bending moments, and that will be transmitted through the connection. And second, the potential punching effect existing either over the soil or piles in depth excavations. Being this, a subject indeed covered in this course. And so, in this way we'll perform the analysis of all the connections in the structure, including the case of special connections existing between cold rolled sections, and that simultaneously, aren't by default present in robot catalog of sections. Thus obtaining a precise, thoughtful and reliable analysis of all of our structure. And with the certainty that not only the sections, but all the components in the connections are acceptable for all the design load cases and combinations, including the accidental, moving, and live loads. Also examining in depth, the analysis and design of the reinforced concrete elements of the foundations. Since and even in steel structures, this is indeed a crucial aspect of the foundation design. These are then the subjects that we'll cover in this course of Robot Structural Analysis Professional, 2016, Advanced Level, for analysis and design of steel structures. Moreover, through our support center, you'll count with the assistance of experts while you study and practice. So you apply your new skills to your own projects without limits. See you soon.